now is the time for you to do, do a little bit of engagement with me. How important is the right mindset in trading? And I've basically made it easy for you. It could be 100%. You think it's all mindset or it could be absolutely nothing. And I know that there is an angle to this. The angle is, hang on, I can't be all mindset and have no edge. I mean, I, I need to know what products to trade. I get it. Absolutely, I get it. But let's say that we have reached a level of proficiency, of competency in technical analysis and the like. How important is it that we actually begin to engage with ourselves before we engage with the market? Now, I'm not expecting you to shout out. Maybe you're the shy kind. All right, we're going to go with 75. Common consensus. I read all your minds, and I teleported that red circle onto 75. If this is really the case, then I ask you this very simple question. Why do we spend all our time on technical analysis? Why is that our focus? Why is all our focus on learning new strategies? Why is the focus not on, hey, why is it that I can't keep my damn paws off the mouse when I want to take my profits? But I can never get the mouse going when I want to take a loss. My losses run out of control. That would be an obvious place to start. Now, I do that every day. Every day I torment myself. Do you know that? Every day I subject myself to this. Shall I walk you through it? Okay. This is the footsie. All right. You'll be proud of this trade. I bought 100 pounds a point at 6,764. Yeah? yeah? And the market went a little bit against me. Not a lot, just a little bit. Then... Just like I was down in the supermarket, you've been to the supermarket, and you see, oh my God, there's steak on offer. Big, juicy steak. They usually cost 100 pounds a kilo, now it's 50 pounds a kilo. So I'm thinking, this is almost like the steak analogy. Which it used to cost 6,764, now I can buy it for 6,756. Oh my God, it's getting cheaper. Sounds good, isn't it? I'm practically, yeah, practically giving it away today. And then the market falls a bit more. I'm thinking, not to worry. I'll average in. Then it comes down to 6,735. Now, if I thought that 6,764 was a good purchase, then 6,735 surely must be the bargain of the century. Oh, yeah. My mind is telling me, Oh boy, Tom, you're going to hit big time here. This is getting cheap. Buy some more. Boom. Woo! I'm feeling good. Except I'm not. I am feeling more and more sweaty palms. And at some point down here at 6702, I can't take any more pain. My account is hemorrhaging money. And I get out for a loss of 17,000 pounds. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but this is back in 2013. Why am I bringing trades up from 10 years ago? Because my mind is an evolutionary, in an evolutionary prison. And if I don't warm up, if I don't prepare myself mentally to how, if left, if left unchecked, ladies and gentlemen, this is what it will do to me. Why do you think it's so easy to add to a losing trade, but so hard to add to a winning trade? When I talk about adding to winning trades, people look at this, me as I'm Jesus, and I've just made myself known as the evangelic, and I can walk on water. Well, hang on. All I'm doing is the exact opposite on what we gravitate towards. We gravitate toward adding to losing trade because we feel like we're doing a bargain, like the supermarket mentality. But why is it so hard to add to a winning trade? I mean, it's not hard for me to add to a winning trade anymore, but the, well, the first time I heard about that, that, that's insane. Why would I add to it? I should have just bought enough the first time. Yes, but look at the evidence. Imagine that you'd sold short of 64, and you added at 56, and then you added again at 35, and you added again at 
25. Just to sum up where we are so far, I leave you all trades and I warm up. I don't warm up with reading someone's analysis of where they think the FTSE is today or where the DAX is today. I don't care. I want to warm up by going over what are my fear elements? What am I at risk of doing wrong? And what do I need to do right? And I need a visual reminder of that. I need to be mindful of my dopamine baseline. It means that when I add to a winning trade, I feel nothing. I am just conducting a business.